Hey guys, welcome back. Paul C707 coming at you with another video. In this special episode, guys, we're going to be doing a CGT haul and showcase. Um, it's also in an unboxing. I just received this CGT box straight from CGT just today. So as you can see, here's the box. I went ahead and cracked the seal. Took the slabs out already just to save up on some time. But um, without further ado, kick things off with a sketch by horror uh, a Bronze Age legend Alex Nino and he's known from doing like a lot of horror comics from back in the days from the Bronze Age from late 70s to early 80s he's worked on books like Witching Hour and some of the horror um, titles from for DC and Marvel back in the day so I'm really thrilled to add this into the collection um, both my brother and I got um, a sketch from Mr. Nino and guys, if you happen to see Alex Nino at a con, definitely get a sketch from him. Uh, pick up some prints. Um, definitely want to get some original art from this guy because uh, I actually witnessed at the show, San Francisco Comic Con, back in early April. I'm sorry, early September, rather. Uh, other legends um, actually purchasing art from him. So when you see it, other artistic legends buying from another legend, I mean, that's actually a big deal. So I was actually uh, able to witness... Um, some of the some big names in the business go to Alex Nino, take pictures with them like they're fanboying it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, getting original art from the man himself too. But luckily for me, um, I've actually have a pretty good relationship with Mr. Nino. I've known him since uh, 2013, and we hit it off right away. Um, and um, every time I see him at a show, I definitely commission him. I definitely show him some love. So if you see Mr. Nino at a show, definitely show him some love. Okay. Uh, next one up, guys. In keeping with the theme of Star Wars, on Force Friday, I had the opportunity to meet the one and only Mr. Ray Park, who we all know as um, Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace, Episode 1. So I, already, I met him for the very first time, and man, what a great, sweet guy he is. Uh, really cool with the fans. He definitely gives you that one-on-one -on -one experience with him whenever you go see him. He actually takes the time, chats with you. Jokes around with you. I'm mean, really easy to talk to. Really great guy. Um, I can't um, express that enough. What a great guy he, uh, Mr. Ray Park was. And he was gracious enough to not only sign my, my sketch and our books, but also he gave me some inscriptions. So this one here, this is his signature right here. It says Feel the Force, it says Darth Maul, and it says Sith Rule. So I have three inscriptions on this signature here. Um, which is pretty cool. I'm really excited. And moving things along, guys, here's another sketch signed by um, Ray Park of Darth Maul. Artist is Jacques, an up and coming freelance illustrator. I love the color and detail that he put on this sketch. Do a quick close up of it. And I asked him how he did it. He said he applied the colors first and then he applied the inks. So he went from pencils to ink, to colors rather, and then to inks, which was, I thought was really awesome. All right, guys, moving things forward, we have another uh, Signature Series 9.8 book um, by the man himself, Mr. Ray Park. Um, he also put several inscriptions on this one as well. He uh, not only signed it, he put Darth Maul, Sith Roll, Feel the Force. So this was on Force Friday when we had met him. <clears throat> so, I mean, uh, what a what an awesome experience it was. You know, not only to be a, a you know uh, the kickoff for uh, the Last Jedi uh, toys and merchandise for on Force Friday, but we met the man himself, Mr. Ray Park, A.K.A. Darth Maul. In my opinion, one of the best characters that came out of the the prequels. Uh, I think you all agree. Is uh, Darth Maul himself. So this was actually, um, I want to say, 18 years in the making, because uh, 1999 is when was the release of the Phantom Menace, and at the time, uh, Star Wars books was by Dark Horse during that time, and they actually had the rights to to produce the um, uh, Star Wars comics, and on the back, the Star Wars. Phantom Menace video game for the PC, PlayStation. Um, show you a quick close up of that. 
Here's the front, a beautiful cover. Uh, I mean, I absolutely love this cover. This was a mini series. It's um, you know one of four um, issues. So this is number three out of four. It has the Darth Maul. And I actually bought this when it first came out back in 1999. Uh, I bought all the covers for Phantom Menace. And um, so I'm really thrilled and excited to finally get this book signed after um, being in my collection for 18 years. So yeah, it was awesome. Awesome to meet him. So um, also want to add, guys, is that not only Ray Park really super cool, really awesome, really nice, sweet guy to meet. But he actually did a couple, gave a couple gifts for both my brother and I. This is my brother's. If you look closely, it's like a steel card. It's a really thick card. It has some weight to it. Um, so he has a, like only a few numbers of these. I mean, so he says when he does shows, like if, um, you know, fans that really impress him, he'll actually give one of these. So um, not only were you know, we got all these books signed, but he also gave us an additional signature for free as a gift for on Force Friday. So this one's my brother's. It says Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, Darth Maul, Ray Park. As Lucasfilm has a little image of Darth Maul on it, bottom right corner. And then this one's mine, which we thought was really awesome. I was stoked when he showed this to me. Uh, it has some color to it. He signed it right there. Black Sharpie, Darth Maul slash Ray Park. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. It has the image of Darth Maul. Sorry if there's glare. Oh, Darth Maul. And then so. But yeah, really stoked, really juiced. Um, to show, finally show the showcase this haul with you guys. And last but certainly not least is a book. Uh, it's the Star Wars 1 variant. It's a Heroes Haven exclusive. I mean, I'm a big sucker for exclusive, guys. You guys already know that from my past videos, you know. I'll, have anything that's an exclusive but here's the back Hills Haven which is a super awesome comic shop in Tampa Florida someday if I go to Florida visit Florida I'm definitely gonna stop by the shop and they have their own exclusives which is pretty rad so here's that it's um, drawn by um, Mike Perkins and I finally met him at, at the show he really does shows in the West Coast so I definitely took the opportunity to meet him in person really sweet and nice awesome guy signed it in gold see right there but uh I really dig his art and he was so busy and I only was able to attend one day out of the three days of the show so I wasn't able to get a commission from him because he was already book solid but um definitely happy to actually get something signed for a moon witnessed and slab so there's another Star Wars number one a variant to add to the, the collection so um, anyway guys there you have it I hope you enjoyed this uh, CGC unboxing haul and showcase I uh, definitely have more cool items to show you guys in the near future so stay tuned all right and we'll see you again soon keep collecting guys take care